Okay, hello and welcome to the channel. This is something that I noticed that for some reason I've somehow never noticed before. Um, an issue with Nanite and lighting, basically. Um, hopefully this resolves the issue for anyone because I spent quite a while uh, trying to find out what the solution is here. And I so I imported this mesh here and it is a Nanite mesh. In fact, I'm just going to go to it in the, over here. It's a Nanite mesh and everything else is not a Nanite mesh. Um, the material on it is actually a, a mid-grey, so we can see that it's, well, it's coming through like there's lighting on it, um, even though I'm on unlit mode, which is very strange. And really, all this stuff is coming through because if I go to Nanite and disable Nanite, now it looks great. Now it looks like it sits in the scene, and I go back and I enable Nanite, and, you know, it's gone funny, it looks weird. Um, so, if you're having that issue, the first thing to realize is that it's your skylight. So if I just delete this skylight, we can see that without it, it actually Nanite starts to look normal again. And this is my thought process and how I uh, finally figured out what the issue is. And again, I probably should have gotten there sooner, but, you know, it's one of those little sneaky issues here. Um, basically, my skylight, when I'm pulling it in, and in fact, I made the issue worse by turning on real-time capture, which for me was making it worse at the time. And um, and changing my lower hemisphere up to a stylized color, um, and upon doing that, like that's just made this ten times worse. Um, so why is it looking? You know, it's actually making my water look pretty good, but it's but that's not looking very good. Um, and the reason why is that it's on stationary and not movable. So I wanted real time lighting, only real time lighting. And we're on the static lighting here. Um, basically, stationary is just causing the issue um, because it requires a baked component. So I imagine baking my lighting here would cause it to just go back to normal. Um, and so the way around that, actually, what we're going to have to do is what I should have done while setting up the project is just go into um, what's it called? It's not light mass. It's um, Static, just static lighting. So there, if I type in static engine rendering, uh, misc lighting, and allow static lighting, I'm going to turn that off, which will require an engine restart. But then that means that now I can no longer make that mistake and have to deal with baked lighting because I'm not working the baked lighting project. Um, so I am going to restart that in a moment. But there's other issues here, um, and one of the main ones is. My water, this new water system that they've come up with, um, with that isn't actually a transparent object. So if I go to lit and um, optimization viewport and shader complexity, this entire thing is green. If that was a transparent object, then it would be red because transparency is expensive. Um, and yeah, so this isn't a transparent object, uh, but for some reason, lumen reflections are not working and I've not found a solution to this unfortunately. Lumen reflections are just not working on this. I'm going to go watch a video. I'll put a comment if I have found a solution. But um, I just, well, my, my temporary solution is just putting on ray traced reflections instead of lumen reflections. Um, but we can see that if we look at my reflection view, for some reason this material is black. Um, but um, if I go into reflections in general, then everything apart from that plane is working. Um, so I have no idea why that reflections are not working on this uh, plane specifically. I mean, I, I, do, I do know it's to do with that new material type, but I don't know why it's not working. Um, so hopefully that solves one issue. And again, I'll, I'll update a comment if that other issue uh, gets resolved. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next one.